The Odyssey begins at birth. Which is to say, it begins with family. Family is a puzzle we never solve, but living it leads us to a deeper life. I don't know if there's a God, but I know there's family. So how come I never wanted to be a father? Because I didn't know about love. I thought a family would get in the way of my freedom until I kissed Marcy. Now family is freedom. I wanted to make a show about that, about family as the path to waking up, growing up, and showing up in the world. So, allow me to introduce you to my teachers. So my 12-year-old daughter, Ara, has come out as gay. Her love interest is transgender, although we don't know which gender the trans lands in and the transscape. Does she, she have peach? Does... Okay. I had a nickel for every time I've asked that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Danny. Danny. Danny, my father just could knock it over, but Danny has a penis. Danny was born a boy. Yes. But you're a lesbian. No, and now Danny, you're dead. Danny was born in a boy's Wait, body, but has. Does. Danny was born. Let her, let her finish. A girl, but not physically. Okay, so it's a her, but she. Danny's a girl born in a boy's body. Since when does genitalia matter? So God made bad choice. Honey. I was just, first of all, do you believe in God now? No. Oh, so are you trying to tor torment your sister? Yeah. <laughs> I totally support her being gay. I'm not offensive to transgender people. God did not make a bad choice. That's fine. I just, I think we're trying to get a clarity. You're a lesbian couple, but there's a penis in the picture. If Danny feels like a girl, then Danny should be completely respected like a girl and treated like a girl. I tried to explain it to them and I just don't get it. Can Danny sleep both of this Friday? Well, I don't know Definitely if we'd not. be comfortable. Yeah, I mean, because if it's a love interest of yours, I mean, if it were any love interest, I think at the age 12, should it be spent yeah. the night? We want to meet Danny for sure, and Danny can come over and hang out, but when you're 12 years old, you don't have your girlfriend or boyfriend, whatever the gender is, it's irrelevant. Especially if there's a penis in the picture though. My parents let me have a sleepover with a girl. Danny is a girl, so I don't see any other exceptions. They're just sexist, and they don't understand what transgender means. I don't really understand, since she always said she wants her own baby. I mean, she can have it, but I don't know if her and Danny are going to stay together for like until they're married. Uh, if I'm a lesbian, right. then I can't get pregnant. You can actually get pregnant with a girl who has a penis. <laughs> you can't, so, you totally can't. So that's not true. What that's you how said. you got here. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Okay, so that's not true. Okay, so that's not true. Okay, so that's not true. We seriously have got to go to there school. No, we should get Danny neutered. <laughs> Don't tell Danny what's happening. It's true. Things are, it's just like when I was 12. It's no, <laughs> it's, it's very different. It's changed.
that bag of heroin? Did I put up your rectum when we went through customs? My, my morning meditation. Start fucking car, start. My wife is having surgery this week. Start, you <laughs> Which has caused a lot of anxiety, to be honest. Hey, breathe. Everyone calm down. Flip it, flip! You officially made me lose my marbles! <laughs> because she's been in really chronic pain for about a year and a half. Soft belly. She hides it really well. She manages it very well. <sighs> Nicely done. But it's become unworkable. How to make a living as an artist in five steps. Tour. 15 years, 18 albums, a thousand shows. Get a million dollar record deal. Wow! Lose that million dollar record deal. Wow. Meet a girl, fall in love, get her pregnant, repeat. Now you're not just making a living, you have a life. But you need to stay home with those kids. So, bluff. Call Mark Cuban. He owns a TV network. Tell him you want to make a TV show. He says yes. Figure out how to make a TV show. You seem... Like a deep frog to me. Sell. Your furniture, guitars, computers, TVs, paintings, vehicles, family heirlooms until you run out of things to sell. Then ask yourself, should I tour again? No! Cash in 401ks, borrow money, buy food with credit cards, go into debt, try again. Start a company, find investors who love risk. Then work from home, make a show about your family. Now love is your job. Are you filming this? Stop filming it! Girls get pregnant, hence no sleepover. <laughs> we're not gonna have sex. I don't think she should have a sleepover. Danny's physically a boy and Aura's physically a girl. So, yeah. It's my job as your mommy to keep you safe and your body safe. And until you can make safe choices for yourself. This is where my job as a parent comes in. Bye, super gay. Um, thanks for closing the door, you idiot. <laughs> Shut up. Gosh, she's cute. She's gonna save the world. Aura, 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 aura. about me being gay. I don't understand why it's such a big deal. One out of four people are gay. Just four people in our family, excluding Tilla. They should have expected it coming. I'm super duper positively gay. I have no, no interest in any boys. My boys are disgusting. And how they act with each other disgusting. I just never think about they're disgusting. The girls are much more softer and gentler. And they're better for the world. Boys cause all wars and crises and everything. Bad in the world. That's why we need more lesbians. I missed my best. I was just reading a book report. I didn't do it. Oops. And you observed two elements in those test tubes that um, you could see were not real exciting to just look at. Clear, colorless, odorless gas. People are looking at me like, what the heck are you doing on her? And it's like, it's for a TV show. It's like, what? It's like, yeah. I don't think they believe me. Nah, it's kind of look like a weirdo. It's okay, though. I always look like a weirdo. I have surgery tomorrow, and um, it's interesting because uh, I have a history of anxiety and I, I get anxious about not having control, which I think surgery is one of the biggest aside from death. Well, soon you're gonna be able to walk normal again. 
because you're gonna have a brand new leg. Yeah. Yep. To be in bed and we're gonna wait on your hand and foot and you get drugs. That is all true. I just don't like the thought of an anesthesia I don't like and the thought of going under I don't like. But Why don't you like to go under anesthesia? I think anytime any anytime somebody goes under anesthesia, uh it's scary. It's uh and I think it makes people think of death, like you could die. You're not allowed to die, first of all. You know that you're forbidden to die until after I have died. I think my biggest thing is how much I love my life. And I love my life. And I love being a mom. And I love being a wife. And I just, I just love living. And uh, so like, you know, even if something were to happen, because you know, weird things happen. Just knowing that I've had literally uh, the best life I could have ever imagined, and um, I've loved my kids seven thousand percent, and I've loved my husband. I could have, I could love my husband a little bit more, <laughs> and I need to hug him more because um, he's awesome. And but yeah, like I feel like even if I were to die tomorrow, and that could be any of us. Like, I've had, I could not be more thankful for who I am, who I've become, the kind of mom I am. Um, yeah, I, so I guess that's all you could ever hope for, I suppose. It was easy. How you feel psychologically, emotionally, and spiritually is so closely tied with what you can do with your body. Dance, swim, exercise, hike. My only concern is, can we get full mobility back in your knees so that you can kneel before me every morning as you should in deference to your husband. You should genuflect, and right now you can't genuflect the way you need to. Your knee is damaged. That's my main concern. <laughs> We lived in Holland for two years. This was our boat. The girls went to an immersion school and learned to speak Dutch. Now we're back in America and they're losing it. I'm trying to keep it alive, but it is not working. Nothing could feel better, dog hair on my sweater. If you know a dog, then just go and get her. So Daddy, let's hear my song. What song? The song I made up. You made up a song? On, on what? Are oh, you recorder? I gotta talk to your sister for a second. We already said that Danny can't come over. But I, I do, but I do everything that you ever ask me to do. <laughs> like clean the kitchen after you make your jello? Like clean the kitchen after you make your dinners? I, I don't think you've done that. But, but, know that you had to but all of my grades are great. Geen Engels. Who said you that in het Nederlands? Aja. Honey. Verstaan? Jij hebt vergeten de hele taal. Jij wil nu het praat met me in het Nederlands. Ik denk jij hebt vergeten de hele taal. Omdat je force me. Ja, omdat jij nodig. Laat maar force me. Als je wil nodig. Als je wil nu het praat met me. Ik moet force je. <coughs> en elke dag jij vergeet meer en meer. Ik maak het niet meer. leuk. Ja, ik maak. Aja, I'm trying to have a conversation. Ik nodig te praat met je zus. 
Als je stil, maar jij moet praten met het Nederlands. Elke morgen, ik vraag je dit. Ara! Verstaan? Ik, ik wil alleen het plakken in het Nederlands, dus je laat me hebben slaap over met al niet. Slaapvestje? Ja. Jij. Ja, Jij. Ja, ja. Waarom wil je te praten met je vader? Omdat het is alleen leuk. Het maakt je papa. Je maakt het niet leuk. Het is leuk. Nee. Te praat, het is. Het is leuk te praten met je papa en het nieuwe taal. Je hebt leren taal. Aja, alstublieft. Alstublieft. Stil. Aja, Zus. I think your music is beautiful. Ge geen Engels. Jij moet zeggen dat het niet Nederlands. Mag dan niet hebben slaapfeest met Ik kon je niet begrijpen. Spreek duidelijk als het Mag dan niet hebben een slaapfeest met ik? Nee. Maar jij kon hebben dat. Aja, alstublieft, stil. Jij kon hebben een slaapfestje met je vriend Daan als je wil. Spreek alleen Nederlands de hele avond. Nee, Tilla, zit. Ara, ben je luisteren? Ik luisteren! Ik geef op. Je kunt Dutch vergeten, dat is fijn. Je kunt je recorder spelen. Je kunt gewoon je monoglot leven. Ja, ik ging naar een vreemde land en ik leerde een nieuwe taal, maar ik ga het gewoon vergeten. Ja, het is fijn om te vergeten talen. I never said I would have another language. This fucking window is fogging up. Where the fuck is this? My husband loves to tell people what to do. <laughs> As any of us. Angry. Bullsh. Bullsh. Well, not stand by. Ara. Aja. I don't care whether it's with boys, girls. I just want you to have a life full of love. Like I have. I first felt love in my family. They helped me find laughter and passion. I explored love through music. Love came in stillness, being alone, but feeling a presence disguised in everyone. Then, love came to me as you. Soon I'll be 47, but I'm still a beginner, studying that love, and how we become part of each other. What if, obviously it's preposterous for her to have a sexual sleepover with a love interest at the age of 12, that's off the table. But a date of her choice would be awesome. We'd be awesome parents to let A date, her... like an unchaperoned yeah, date? Yeah, yeah. We'll know where they are, we'll yeah. know what's happening. So. I think we should tell her that that's okay. Mm -hmm. What do you think about getting a shot collar for Tilla? I feel like they if make you, those even. Yeah, they make them, and I actually like a lot of trainers that I know use them. And really, uh huh. And, and actually, a lot of humane trainers that I know use them. We did have them neutered, and it had no effect. It has zero effect. <laughs> it has zero effect. It didn't do anything, and I think a shock collar is. You know, probably not the politi politically correct thing to do in Boulder, but well, honestly, well, you know what my feeling is? Um, I don't fucking care. I don't either. And you know what? It is the most compassionate thing to do because it's not going to make his life or the people around him any better for him to yeah. not be able to discern boundaries like that. Yeah.
want to get him a shock collar because that's a torture to dogs. But he's also a crazy maniac. Had to cash in a 401k, our only 401k, in order to pay for her surgery because we don't have insurance, etc. So right now I'm going to go to the bank, put in a final check to cover. After we pay for her surgery, we will have $80 left to live for the next week, which of course is more than enough if you ramen noodle it, and we will. Because you're a meditator. This is meditation practice, bitches. I think you're the cutest patient in this hospital. And my mom getting her surgery, I'm really scared for it because she's my mom and she takes care of me and I love her. That's the catch 22 of meeting your soulmate. You're both still mortal. And I have a really good connection with her and I don't want that to be broken by something happening to her in her surgery. But I do want you to know that Ari has been texting 
several times and she really, really wants you to know how much she loves you. And she's thinking of you very, very much this morning. Don't tell me that or I cry. Oh, sorry. My kids are so certain that I love them a gazillion million percent. And I think that's all you can do. That's all you can do in life is like try to be as loving as possible and full. I'm sad that she's getting her surgery since I kind of like her driving to school since she's a little more fun with music than dad. I just love her very dearly and I don't want anything to happen to her. Your best bet is to become the love that isn't born and doesn't die. It's good if you can do that. <laughs> I can't manage it in every moment, but I'm... That's what's interesting about family, is that family is the way you learn to do that, I think. So, I'll let you say bye to her. We'll take good care All of her. All right. All right. I love you, sweetie cakes. I love you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I love Dad. And I also love Mom. And Dad. And Aura. I all love them equally. Till it's a little under. Alright, um, so, I was wondering, 